Okay, guys, this is going to be messages from your person. The green dice is pile number one, okay? And the blue dice is pile number three, all right? Last time I got them, the videos were not <laughs> angled properly, but, you know, I'm usually doing this in a car on my OnlyFans, so bear with me. I'm getting it together. But go ahead and select the pile, and then I'm going to get straight into the readings. Okay, pile one. How are you guys doing today? Let me sit my ass down. <laughs> okay, um, so you guys could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could have a strong Cancerian placement in your chart. Um, your fourth house could be very significant as well. So family, home life. Some of you guys may have children or your partner does. You could be very nurturing, very motherly, very loving, whether you have children or not. And that's something that this person could very much adore about you. Okay, so let's get into messages from your person. I rolled those dice, by the way. <laughs> All right. Live my life, I had to roll dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is someone who they have experienced a lot of pain and loss in their life. This person wants to reconcile with you. Let me see. You're getting messages from your person. Yeah, this person... Y'all are going to bond over what you guys have been through. Okay? We got two, three of cups. This person definitely wants to reconcile with you. And they may want to talk to you about a third party as well. In my life, I had to roll dice. Mm hmm Let me check something real quick. All right, bet. Okay, hold on. I'm in a rolling chair on carpet and that's real tragic. Okay, so let's get into it. Messages from this person. What they want to tell you is that they may be going through it financially and this is something that they may have dealt with all throughout their life. They have always had to you know, just go with the flow and not know what they will get in return. This person has made a lot of risk in life that have left them, I'm hearing barren, okay? So left them without anything. If you block this person, they desperately want to reach out to you and ask you to unblock them. So if this is someone that you have unblocked, especially if you block them over a third party, if this person was dealing with a third party while they were dealing with you, this person, whether they want to tell you this or not, the third party left them with nothing. The third party has been challenging them financially, and that's something that they are scared to admit to you. And others of you, this person has gotten a haircut recently, and they're afraid that you may not like their haircut as well, if you will still love them, if you will still indulge in them. This is someone that is afraid to reach out to you to find that you are not happy to see them as they are happy to see you. This could be someone that you drank with a lot as well that wants to reach out to you. Um, they stalk you. They don't want to have to stalk you from an angle that is... Hmm, they don't want to have to watch you. They want If they stalk you, they want to be able to, from their page, click your page and watch everything that you're doing. This person does not want to have to go out of their way to make another page to speak to you. Some of you, that's why someone has not talked to you for a long time or has not reconciled with you because they are the type of person where they refuse to make a fake page. They refuse to contact you through email. They refuse to find another form of communication with you. They feel like they should be able to come to you directly and talk to you. This person may feel like you should feel like you should be able to come to them directly and talk to them rather than to... They want you to use your words rather than to run away, okay? I feel like if this person could speak to you right now, they would have all of these things to say to you, but they wouldn't necessarily be able to get it out the way that they would want to. This person wants you to be the mother of the child, or if you are the mother of the child, they feel like you're an amazing mother as well. This person could be very manipulative. They're very resourceful. So like I said, even if this person goes through a lot in your life, um, I feel like they always find a way out of the madness. But 
they may find more chaotic ways to get themselves out of bad situations rather than good things, good ways. So this person may have gotten carried away with using manipulation tactics in order to get over on you or get things out of you. Um, I don't think this person planned to fall in love with you. I think this person fell in love with you at a time where they were struggling and they just needed some help. They just needed something to keep them going. Um, this person is uncomfortable that they fell in love with you. A lot of y'all. This person is uncomfortable that they fell in love with you. And it's like, even if they were to talk to you now, they would still have a manipulative way of speaking to you. They feel like you are a butterfly and they don't understand why you would want to be around the likes of them. So if you still show or you left this person with nothing but love, <laughs> like, you know, all right, cool. I'm gonna love you until the end of time. And if you love us all I had in this life. <laughs> and he kind of keeps giving Justin Timberlake a little bit. Ooh, I got two cards that say oppression right next to each other. Oh my God. Oppression has played a big role in you guys' relationship. Maybe other people have caused burdens on y'all's relationship. This person feels weak. They feel like no matter what they do, somebody is always going to be around to kick them. Like while they're down, kick them even lower to the fucking floor, to the fucking ground. This person has become very judgmental because of it. And you may have taught this person. You may have been someone that taught this person that no matter what you go through with people or no matter how people choose to treat you, you shall always move with love in your heart. Hold on. To be oppressed is to be exploited or systematically harmed by others, people who have no freedom. So this person feels like they have no freedom, maybe because of family members, because of friends, a third party that they got involved with. Some of you, just for a couple of you, just a little of you, this person is in a third party relationship with multiple people. Like they could have multiple baby mamas, they could have multiple love interests that all know each other or that are all friends or this person dates with dates or deals with somebody that's like you can't buy me a drink unless you buy my friends a drink <laughs> like someone purposely makes this person take care of everyone around them whether it's uh, they're taking care of their love interest and their family they're taking care of the love interest and their friend the friends this is the type of person where they don't really have anywhere to go so wherever they are and wherever they feel accepted is where they'll stay no matter what it takes to stay there even if the people are doing them dirty it's almost making me think about like jay cinco as well i don't know if your partner may have gotten involved with someone who was underage some of y'all this person got involved with someone who was underage and this underage person their mother was manipulating this person to stay with their child like you have to stay especially if they got like somewhat underage pregnant somebody's like you can't if you leave my daughter i'm calling the police you need to pay all the bills too okay because i'm thinking about like jay cinco how he loved brooklyn so much but the girl was so fucking toxic and her whole family was kind of toxic and using and abusing him i'm i'm thinking about like that so yeah this person has a lot going on that they watch you and they want reconciliation with you, but they don't know how to remove this blockage that keeps them from getting to you. You are technically a third party in their life. And they would have to, if them manipulating a situation would just get them more stuck in this horrible web of lies that they don't want to be a part of. So one of these cards is going to be for a message from them. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you feel some type of way about this person and you feel like your feelings are not reciprocated, they are. They want you to know that they do feel for you as much as you feel for them. And they would love to explore those emotions. But I just feel like this person is dealing with something that is really hard. Like they don't even know where they would begin to get out of this situation, how they would get out of this situation. And the thing about, and it may have a lot to do with their mother or a baby's mother with this Cancerian energy. Like someone who comes off as very loving, supporting, and nurturing to the public eye, but they're the complete different behind doors. Everything that this person pretends to be, you actually are. 
And to be honest, whoever this energy is that is causing, like oppressing this person may have done something to you at one point in time, may have caused some sort of pain, some heavy burdens, heavy responsibilities onto you at one point in time as well. This is like somebody watching you pay all your bills by yourself while another person is living off the abundance that should have been given to you. So let's say you're dating somebody and they have a baby mama. All the money that someone is giving the baby mama to support the kids, they going out every night and they getting drunk. But then you, you working hard day and night, overtime to pay your bills by yourself. Oh my gosh. D literally disrupting your peace. And somebody's like happy like this. They don't care. They want it this way. That They feel like, that, well, that's how it should be. This is literally like somebody taking money that they should be giving it to, giving to you. And their baby mama and her friends are living their best life off of it. Like they gather around the campfire with their alcohol, talking shit about you, talking shit about how you working yourself when you need to just go ahead and sell some pussy and get you a man like have you a baby the fuck bitch you doing it wrong this is nasty this is real nasty and your angels your angels is like you're meant to be with this person it's like they guided you to this person so this person can wake up to this but not for them to abuse like i don't think this if some somebody it's like somebody making a mistake and abusing you. Like if, if somebody could give you everything, like the whole story, they so scared to, they want to, but they're so scared to. You on this end of your, on the, you in this situation, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So you was hoping that the, you wanted this person to keep an open mind or you was keeping an open mind with this person. You may, some of y'all, you dated somebody with children. That's what I'm saying. It's either their, their child's mother or their actual mother. I'm dating you, but instead of taking care of you, I'm taking care of my mom. <laughs> you giving me money, you helping me, and I'm taking whatever you helping me with, and I'm paying. I'm, I'm living with you, I'm staying with you, but my mama need bill money, so I'm going to go pay my mama's bills with it. This person has to grow up. It's like they're still a child. And you may have you may have lowered your standards for this person because your soulmate may differ from your usual types of expectations. You may not date anybody who's like a mama's boy who's manipulative. You may not date people who have baby mothers, who have children. You don't date people who don't have a certain amount of money. You live an abundant life. You work hard for your abundant life. You're very creative. You know, you're very nurturing. It's in your nature. You can manipulate anything to go in your favor. You're very resourceful. You are a master of skill. And I think this is how this person feels about you. Like if they could if they could say how they felt about you, they would say all the things that I'm saying now because that's exactly what it is. And then every time I like really go like start going in for real, I like stop, pause and just blow out of like a long breath because I feel like that's the energy that this person is having and I'm just hearing no they wrong they know they wrong they know they wrong they know they wrong an outcome card very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this person can't hold keep holding on to you energetically they know they have to let you go they have to decide whether they want to continue to live this life or and or to go and be free with you but they don't feel like they can be free they have they feel like they have to stay in this because this is the life that they built for themselves or this is all that they know and they feel like if they was to hold on to you while they're going through this why they're living this life then it would just cause more bur burdens onto you it would just cause you pain it would just hurt you and it's like this person would love to say this to you but they it's like they shy away at the idea of actually 
speaking these words to you. They don't want you to try to stop them. They don't want you to tell them they can do better. They can be better. They don't want you to create any energy that may cause chaos because they are comfortable in this. They are very comfortable in this. It's like they're technically not comfortable, but it's all they know. So they're afraid to put themselves in a position where they will be even more uncomfortable. <sighs> so, yeah. Those are the messages from your person, pile number one. They wish they could tell you everything about why they've done the things they've done and what's going on in their life that you don't see. They wish they could tell you that they know your worth and that they will sacrifice themselves in order for you to have peace. Okay? So, I'm going to go into pile number two. Pile number two. This is not the number that was here. So your second house may be important. That's your house of like, um, find like your second house is like a house of stability. It's about travel, you know, things of that sort. It was in the ninth. So your career and your finances may be, you know, heavily connected to this love connection. This could be somebody that sees marriage with you. Like they could really want to marry you because they feel like if y'all was to come together, y'all would be able to make marriage. I mean, make magic. Maybe you guys have similar career goals. You know, maybe you guys are similar. You have similar goals overall for your life and what you want out of a foundation. But this person would love to tell you that they feel like y'all should come together and be great. <laughs> okay. Okay, pile number two. <laughs> One of the main messages that I am seeing messages from this person is that you could be dealing with Scorpio or Virgo, or you could be dealing with Cancer, and you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Or you could be one of those signs. But one of the main things I'm seeing that this person wants to get into your head is that they feel like you're very fucking delusional when it comes to your goals and not because they think you can't do it. It's like they think you're gonna you think you're gonna do with it do it all alone. Okay? Like <laughs> this person feels like you need them and you lying to yourself if you feel like you don't. Like why would you do it by yourself? If you can, like, why would you struggle if you can have somebody that will be right with you along the way? I feel like you inspire this person as well. You make them want to be the best version of themselves. You make them take a look in the mirror with a death card. And you make them want to change and grow for the better. I feel like somebody may have gone into hermit mode or will or, you know, you encourage them to go into hermit mode so that they could come out evolved. I feel like seeing you being very um well tempered and especially if this person has ever tried to anger you <laughs> oh yeah personal finances material possessions and the concept of value when it comes to the second house told y'all i know what i'm talking about i ain't looked up all that bird chart astrology shit in a long time but i know what it is beach like i know what i'm doing you see what i'm saying okay so i feel like <laughs> you're somebody oh that's why they feel like you're delusional you want to have something shared with somebody. You want marriage. You want love. You want to share something with somebody, a life. But everything is me, me, me. This is my money. <laughs> this is my career. This is my life. They feel like you are too strong-willed and very persistent with this strong-willed, this being of this being strong-willed, okay? And you're very resilient to the things that you've gone through. That's something this person admires about you. That <laughs> this person just feels like you are completely delusional. Somebody's like a bus can hit you as long as you ain't dead. You you'll start crawling to the edge of the sidewalk like it's okay, y'all. We still alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody pick me up and put me in a wheelchair. I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm hearing you won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. Like somebody wants to be the Jay-Z to your Beyonce. But they feel like, damn, bitch. Beyonce had to take a back seat in order to be in the fucking front. Like... <laughs> She got, she had to bend to Jay-Z's will in order to stay on the front motherfucking stage. Somebody like, he took her ass out of Jessie's child and put her ass on for real. I don't know why somebody think that they can fix, they can fix your life, make it better. 
Somebody's like, oh, you think you all this, you think you all that. But when you put a real nigga in the picture, I bet you I make you 10 times more than what the fuck you is. Okay? So I don't know why this person has this energy towards you. I got to make sure my camera's still rolling. Hold on, y'all, because this is hilarious. Okay. I don't want no fuck us with this. I might have to stop and check the sound real quick. But, <laughs> yeah, so... This is somebody that even when it comes to your work, they may be more like, okay, you got this done? Okay, 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 what about that? Everything operating smooth over here? Like, this person is somebody that they they got a plan. They want you to be a part of the plan. This person could be planning a trip and they want you to come on this trip with them, you know? But they feel like you just, <laughs> it's just living in this own fantasy world of yours. You only make choices that when in which you consider yourself you don't consider nobody else and they're like how am i going to put you in my life plan put you in my life goals which they're going to do either way no matter what you do because they really want you there and your ass is just over here la 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 me 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 what am i going to do in life next be great okay they're like damn bitch you don't think about me at all and i'm sitting over here thinking about you every day like my motivation to go to work is you my motivation to get a new house is you my motivation to do it to do this and to do that and to do this and to do that all of it is you <laughs> okay <laughs> i feel like you've been in a temperance card being i just feel like y'all are being patient with life and working on yourself and trying any different recipe that works. Y'all are y'all are continuously going back to the motherfucking lab. And this person sees it. And they think it's funny. And they adore it as well. If this shit don't work, boom, boom. Let's, let's switch up this and that. And let's see if that work. Okay? Like, y'all are like those scientists that work on something <laughs> for 20 years. And then finally some little kid comes in the office and knock over the wrong tube and everything you've been working your whole life to discover is like, ah, oh, finally. And you think you did it, but it wasn't you, bitch. It was the little kid. <laughs> oh my God, it wasn't you. Okay, this person is funny. They feel like you need them, but you don't think you need them. And they don't know how to get you to realize that you need them. Okay? <laughs> this person is going to be speaking to you soon. They want to come see you. This person could be very stubborn and you're just very go with the flow. So this person will be like, yeah, no, I ain't going for that. And you'll be like, oh, all right. And then go about your day and move on. And so if you treated somebody like that, they're trying to figure out a way to get you back. <laughs> Okay, if somebody said, I'm not going for that, bitch, you delusional. I got options. You wasted my time. You was like, damn, there's potential elsewhere. There's another opportunity out there. It, like, inspired you. You're so fucking weird to this person, bro. Like, you're so weird to this person. This person is coming out of isolation to you because they were like, this person tried to make you feel rejected in some manner, but not in a way where they were being petty. In a way where they were like, nah, you got, we got to figure something else out because I'm not going for that. And he was like, damn, you ain't going for that? Bet. I'll find somebody who is. And they didn't expect you to do that. <laughs> they did not expect you to do that. They expected you to feel like you needed them because they low-key feel like they need you. Okay? So, this is funny to me. This is adorable to me. So, yeah. And with the Ace of Swords, I feel like this person really wants to tell you the truth of how they feel about you. They want to tell you that they want to, the Sixth House could be important as well. This person may feel like you're bad for their health or that they need to focus on their health. So if somebody has been focusing on their health and they've been feeling better, it's like this person, if somebody had to leave you or step away from you to focus on their health, it's like when they come back and they feel 10 times better, they've had time to sit in the hermit energy and get some introspection and really look at you and <laughs> really think about what you guys have going on between the two of each other and they feel like they just discover some things that they want to talk to you about okay they really want to they want y'all to talk about everything like everything that i'm saying to you now this person actually wants to talk about these things and they want to move forward into calmer waters with you this person could be confused by you because they feel like you have multiple options. They feel like you live in a fantasy world. Like you wake up to five niggas ready to bathe you or something like that. <laughs> or women, it don't matter. 
somebody is like you make them realize that the things that they see as fantasy are possible. But they're confused if they if you even like them. They feel like you have so many options. They're confused as to if, if you even really like them. So that's all I'm really getting. Let me see. This is going to be from their perspective. Trust. The situation is calling you for you to have faith. This person wants you to have more trust in them. Okay? And this could be the one. You feel like... Even if this person feels like you have a lot of options, you feel like this is the person you want to be with. You don't want nobody else because you want you meeting this person was all you you want this person. This is somebody that if you as a viewer are worried about your partner wanting other options, if they have other options, the person that you're worried about feels like you're delusional because they've done nothing but show you that they want you and you just won't trust them. Somebody feels that way. Somebody feels like they've done nothing but show the other person that you're the only thing that they ever wanted and you just refuse to trust them. So, this one's cute. And then we have let go of control issues. If you have a child, someone never wanted to date a person with a child so that could have held them back. But they're willing to do that for you, to be that for you. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody will be a stay-at-home dad for your ass. <laughs> Who is this? Okay, you made somebody look at some of the darker things about them and they took some time away from you to fix them so that they can be perfect for you. This person, if they've been away from you, they've been planning the whole time they've been away from you. And they've come back with a solid plan. And in order for y'all to get into a comfortable space, y'all have to talk about the things that at one point in time they were not talking to you about. But it's like, once the both of you let go of control issues, especially the one that has trust issues, you guys could go really far if you wanted to. Y'all could go really far if y'all wanted to, for real. Especially this person wants to put actual work into a relationship with you. Like they want to, I feel like they want to be connected to you in terms of finances. Like bitch, it's not your money, it's y'all's money. <laughs> Mi casa is tu casa. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. If you wanted to go and, you know what I'm saying, go into their wallet and take you a couple of dollars, you think they'll sit there and cuss your ass out? Asshole? Like, damn. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to go to pile three. I hope y'all enjoy this because this made me giggle, this reading right here. Okay, so pile three, how you doing? Your connection may be heavily influenced by the um, planet Pluto, so I don't know. Um, you guys could be from the same generation as well. Um, or even if you're from, maybe someone's older, someone's younger, and you're from two different generations. I think that's a huge ass gap if y'all are. But either way, um, Pluto is probably playing a big role in this connection. So maybe you guys are... <laughs> Why am I here being a part of two different generations? It's like being a part of two different cultures. Man, this nigga. <laughs> I was talking to this dude that was younger than me. And this nigga was like, what you rate me as? I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? <laughs> we did rates when I was young. But I'm like, nigga, we grown. I'm not talking to you unless. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. So I don't know. Maybe being from two different generations is like two, being from two different cultures to y'all. But I feel like this connection is very spiritual. This may be a connection in your life that is re having a rebirth, a transformation, okay? Um, and somebody could be a Scorpio. A brother, you could have strong Scorpio placement, so you probably have a very strong sexual connection as well, okay? Somebody is ready to look at things differently when it comes to the way they view you or about you guys' different views on life, all right? So yeah, and this person could be having a different outlook on life, which is helping them have a different outlook towards you. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm getting, cause this Jupiter kept wanting to flip over multiple times. One of y'all could be a Scorpio and the other one could be a Sagittarius or someone is on that cusp of Scorpio and Sag. Um, I'm hearing the alarm. So I'm hearing, ring the alarm. I've been doing this too long and I'll be damned if I see another bitch on your arm. Okay, so if this person told you they ex want and let them go, or maybe that's what they want to tell you, like, um they had um they had an ex that was refusing to leave them um and they had to realize that this person only wanted them so that you couldn't have them 
So there is somebody that felt like they were getting a missed opportunity that approached this person with hostility. Or this person could be doing this to you. This could be your ex and they're approaching you with hostility because they don't want somebody else to have what they feel is theirs. Okay? But I feel like this is the type of connection that will bring a lot of luck and abundance into your life. So it's like the transformations that you guys will go through will be, you know, transformative in a very positive way. And... I started off this reading, if y'all didn't watch, when I was talking about the dice, saying that there will be a rebirth, and this says death and rebirth. So I feel like you've gone through your own personal rebirth, which has helped aid it in a rebirth of this relationship or situation that you're in. Um, <laughs> somebody may have walked away from you. Someone may want, may want to tell you that if you didn't change your ways, they wasn't going to deal with you no more. Okay, that's one thing. They was gonna let this be a missed opportunity. You better be glad you got your shit together. So, ooh, I got the two of cups here. So I feel like there's a lot of tension in this connection because of the strong, you guys have like a very, both of you have like very intense charts and when you put them together, it's just even more intense, okay? So this person feels like there's tension between the two of you and they want to come in and have unity with you. They feel like this is a missed opportunity because they were unprepared for some sort of conversation that you guys may have had. Or um, you are going to be unprepared for a conversation that this person is bringing to you. And it may be responded to with a lot of hostility. But at the end of the day, no matter how strong you want to be, no matter how much you want to have your walls up, this person is in the end still going to choose you. But it's like... <laughs> You love this person, but as they're choosing you, you're like, mm, I don't know. I'm a different type of person now. Okay, so it's like as this person is choosing you, you're like, I'm different. I'm not who I used to be. I don't know if we can be together. So, hey, don't miss an opportunity because you want to be extra. So there may be a need for you to have a little bit more empathy for this person as well. Okay, but I think somebody is going to be caught off guard if you like, yeah, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm hearing everything I went through. Like somebody may have went through a lot of work to get you or to make sure you wasn't a missed opportunity. This could be someone that does not like to express their emotions a lot and they're going to express them to you. But this person wants to talk to you about having a lot of success in their life, feeling like the king of pentacles. Maybe at one time when they walked away from you, they were broke. They had nothing. <laughs> somebody had like nothing to their name. And they wanted to be able to feel good about themselves when they came towards you, you know. And so it's like whatever success that came into this person's life, it made them a little bit more humble, which is crazy because whatever transformation. It's like this person has gone through a financial transformation. They've been very lucky around this time. And you have gone through a personal and physical transformation and maybe even spiritual and it has brought a bunch a bunch of luck and abundance into your life as well so i feel like both of you are big-headed and <laughs> that's kind of what they like about you though that you're just as arrogant as them that you're just as successful as them you are i'm hearing the first person to tell this person no the first love interest to miss out on an opportunity with them or to treat them like you don't give a fuck okay one of y'all could be very, one of y'all could be American and the other person could be like Egyptian or African. Um, I feel like there has been someone who tried to prey on y'all's offspring or the offspring that you will have. Someone has tried to curse this connection in some sort of way, shape or form. I think if you were fighting for this connection, at one point someone was like, uh, go away. <laughs> okay, I miss my ex, bitch. <laughs> Even if this person's ex passed away, if they ex didn't pass away, they're like, I miss my ex, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> if somebody could tell you straight from their mouth, like the straight up truth, a message from this person is they wasn't stunning you because they was like, bitch, you're, you will never be my ex. Like, you'll never be nothing like her, like him. You'll never be able to top that bitch. You don't understand. She was this, she was that, she was everything. That's how this person was towards you in the head. And you've gone through some sort of glow up that's making this person. As you've gone through a glow up and this person is going through a glow up, what I think happened is if this, you, messages from this person, if they could tell you the truth, no filter, 
you know, they took some truth serum. They would tell you that they walked away from you. They went back to their ex. They actually had a little bit of success, but they realized that this ex only wanted them because this person makes them feel good when they're depressed. And this person came into a life where they was having success. And the more success they had, the more finances they had, the more they realized their ex wasn't shit and their ex wasn't on their level. And as they were sitting, this person was like sitting in their ex's face, realizing that their ex was trash and falling in love with you even more. Like, damn, I think I'm in love with that other bitch. <laughs> Somebody was sitting in your face like, you'll never be my ex, bitch. I miss that bitch so bad. I miss that bitch so bad. And then somebody was sitting in their ex face like, damn, I think I'm in love with that other bitch. Okay, so <laughs> this is somebody that does not care to, to call you the B word. I'm going to tell you that now. So, yeah. And then it's like, somebody's like, I think I'm in love with that girl. Let me go see what she's doing. And then they go and see what you're doing and you looking like, whew. You ain't look like that before. What the fuck? Like, somebody like, you look better. I'm in love with you. I like the way you talk. I like the way you speak to me. You're the one for me. And by the time they get back to you, you're like, I don't know. I'm kind of a bad bitch. I can have anybody I want. I don't know if you're the one. I don't know if you're the one I want. <laughs> so, I think someone slept on you. And they thought someone was better than you without realizing that you're the best. Okay? This person wants to have kids with you. They feel like y'all's kids would be beautiful. This person is very successful. They really want to talk to you about the success that they're having. Um, they're very uh, egotistical about that. This person, this person could have just got a good job and got their first three paychecks and they feeling a little stable. You know what I'm saying? They acting like they want them motherfuckers with a stack of money to their ear. <laughs> Came from nothing now, nigga living for real. You know what I'm saying? Came up out the struggle. <laughs> this is the type of person to finally get a check from a good paying job and then get on the internet with them five little hundred dollars would be like, you know what I'm saying? Big money, big teens, you know what I mean? Like they one of those people like, you bitches ain't knowing what I'm on for real. I'm getting money. I had to let that old shit go so I can let the real nigga shit flow. Like somebody is just like feeling themselves right now. And I don't think they are, they still not on your level. They like, I'm a humble king, but they're not humble at all. They humble looking. Somebody is humble looking. Just because you're quiet with your arrogance does not mean that you're humble. Somebody will look you in your face and act like, yeah, we're equals. But in the back of their head, they like, bitch, you're not on my level. That's not being humble, baby. Okay? So, <laughs> this person's message to you is they want you to know how good they're doing. For real. They want you to stop fighting against them as well. And you strong as hell. Like, if you ever put your hands on this person or y'all ever wrestle, you want to fight, I want to tussle. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Or even when y'all having sex, I don't know if you did some type of trick where they're like, bitch, how are you still holding your body up? Okay, me, me in the shower rod. But this person feels like y'all have a lot of chemistry and y'all have a strong magnetic attraction. And they want to keep that attraction. This person loves you. You feel, yes, this is your soulmate. If you feel like this person is your soulmate, they are. The outcome, y'all going to spend some time together. Y'all going to be around, y'all going to be with each other a lot during the holidays, okay? Y'all going to be walking in. Y'all going to be the type of, y'all going to be a couple, okay? Y'all going to be a couple. Y'all going to be the couple that on Christmas and like, damn, hurry up and get your ass ready. We got to go to my mama house at 12. And then we got to be at your mama's house by six. Okay. <laughs> like y'all got to, we spending, we spending Thanksgiving with my family or yours. Well, you know, my mama ain't going to be having it if I don't show up for Thanksgiving. So, you know, we got to go to both. That's the type of relationship y'all going to have. Somebody thought that they fell out of like honeymoon, like the honeymoon stage. They fell out of love with you at one point where they felt like they were in a honeymoon stage and they got knocked out of it. Cause they, cause they Mercury retrograde, they would started thinking about their ex, their ex came back and they was like, oh yeah, you're the one I always needed you. And then as soon as that energy passed, cause it passed quickly for them, I'm hearing about like degrees in a chart or something. It passed quick for them. All of a sudden they got these honeymoon feelings for you again. And it's like, when y'all get back together, it's going to feel like the honeymoon stage all over again i feel like y'all's relationship will be a honeymoon stage like the complete relationship this type of situation where y'all don't really fall out of love for real y'all are gonna be a real partnership 
Like, you don't move until your partner, like, hey, babe, I'm finna, I, I'm finna go to this party tonight. What you doing tonight? Oh, no, I'm trying to stay in the house. You sure you don't want to go with me? I just want to let you know I'm going. Like, this, that type of relationship. Somebody may call you to tell you, yeah, they invited me to a party, but I would have... I'd rather have hang out with you. That might be a message you get from this person soon. I think you're going to get short-sighted by this person reaching out to you because you consider them a missed opportunity and you feel like they had no empathy for you. So now you have none for them. But um, they're going to be like, what you so mad for? You know, they're going to they gonna want you to calm the fuck down. Okay? But I do see y'all being together. This person knew know that they were foolish or that they were a fool. So they're going to be 100% okay with facing your wrath. All right? So that is it for pile three. Oh, Hannah. What is this? We got Aries, the 11th house. And I think that's, let me see, that's Venus or Mars? Let me see. Venus, I know, I didn't know it. We got Aries, the 11th house, and Venus. So someone could be Venus and Aries in the 11th house. That could be a combination. You're, you could be dating a friend or a friend is the person that wants to talk to you. A friend may have deeper feelings for you. Um, somebody could be very hot headed, you know, somebody is the type of person where they don't want to be an option. They are a leader. Um, they are very feisty and fiery, you know, um, but yeah, somebody is the type to go crazy about their friends. So if your friend is sticking up for you mad hard, they're just being a friend. So I don't know. I feel like somebody's friend is more attracted to them than they are. Somebody's friend likes them. Somebody don't want to be in the friend zone. They want to love you. <laughs> they don't want to be in the friend zone. They want to love you. So let me get some cards. I want this cards first. Let's get some cards for y'all. They don't want to be in the friend zone. They love you. The collaboration card. Somebody wants to. I'll go get it later which one was that yeah i don't think another person is having that especially if this is someone you collaborate with you'll work with somebody you'll put in team earth effort but they want to work out a situation between the two of you where you guys are more than friends and you don't want to be stuck in your head over this person so you want to let it go this person wants to let you know that they've been having a lot of anxiety about you while at work they still have hope that you guys can be in connection and then perfectionists, you know? This could be a friend that I'm picking up on. What do they want you to know? And then we have inner journey, the eight of cups. So this could be somebody that you walked away from or that walked away from you because they couldn't control you and now they can't stop thinking about you. They feel like that they're not on your mind anymore at all. I think this is someone you friend zone because they were you couldn't, they were, they were trying to be too perfectionist about the relationship. They were under spy, uninspired when it came to giving to you or doing or being what you needed them to be. They were being very mediocre with you. And I feel like instead of being stuck in your head, you just let it go. And now this person wants to work it out. They want to tell you that they want to work it out. I'm here in pile three, pile three. This could have something to do with pile three. So check pile three. But the seven of wands, yeah. This person wants to try to fight for you, but they feel like, I just feel like this person don't want to put in the work. They feel like it's too much effort or they feel blocked by you. They feel like you want someone who's perfect and they're not perfect, but in reality, I feel like you just want the situation to be a team effort. Somebody in your workplace really wants to work with you, but um, 
I think someone is trying to, there's somebody in your workplace that is trying to perfect, they're trying to get over the idea of, I'm here and perfect their platform, perfecting themselves so that they can compete with you. Like this person is too, they're trying not to compete with you. Somebody's realizing that they've become addicted to the idea of competing with you in the workplace and it's been causing them blockages. It's been causing blockages in their work. Like someone has a lot of ideas. They have a lot of things that they could be. I'm here and putting out videos in the bank, things that they can be putting out. And every time they do anything, they question it because they're so obsessed with whatever it is that you have going on. And you're somebody who has a lot of wealth. Okay. You have money that's you can save or you will be saving money soon. You, you're going to be, you're going to have a lot of wealth. You have a partner that thinks you guys look beautiful together. They just want to have a good day with you. Somebody may take you out on a good sunny day. They want to have a really good day with you. They want to marry you. They feel like you guys could work together. They're re especially like somebody's trying to find the perfect, the perfect person that they can collab with. This is somebody who wants a business with their partner. And they feel like they can bring a lot to the table that you need. This person may want to apologize to you, offer you an apology, especially if they've been holding back on that. This person could be a Capricorn as well, but they feel obsessive towards you and they feel defeated by you with the Five of Swords. They feel like you're breaking their heart with this idea of friendship. They could be trying to bind you to them or somebody, I don't know why, somebody trying to bind you to them got put got them put in the friend zone. How they feel towards you. They feel like you're worth waiting for. They've been waiting for divine timing in this connection, and they felt tied to you the whole time. They don't want the connection to be toxic. They don't want you to feel tied to them. They want you to be happily, like, they want you to be, they want you to want to be with them. They want you to be open to being with them. They don't want you to feel tied to them. They want you to feel like you want to be with them. They don't want you to feel like it's something that's being forced. Deception. You think this person is deceptive? You feel like that they may have been trying to play you for a third party. You feel like this person was trying. You feel like you're perfect and you feel like this person was trying to find flaws in you so they can have an excuse to keep third parties. This is that person. You showed yourself as one way to this person and they took advantage of them. If they took advantage of it, how many personalities you got? Because I just said they took advantage of them. They took advantage of it, so you had to show them who you truly were, which is way more difficult than they thought you would be. I think this person feels tied to one person while feeling like you're their true love. And the love yourself first card. This person thought you didn't love yourself and now they feel like you're their true love because all you care about is your money. They didn't think that of you. They thought you were somebody that was like, you cause your own blockages because you be worried about love too much and you will work with anybody. What the fuck? That's just scared me. I'm scared. All right. Let me clarify the devil card and then we'll get out of here. What is going on? All the lights are going on and off. This person could have left you in a dark the seven of cups yeah options this person went and ex they didn't explore the other options so much that they actually are trapped with somebody who doesn't love themselves and the eight of wands reverse this person went and started dealing with another person because you wasn't communicating with them and they got tied up with this person and now they feel trapped to this person knowing that they want to be with you it could be financially tied to someone now and the princess of swords this other person that they're dealing with may stalk you. They could have went talking to this person about you, showing them pictures of you and everything, saying that you weren't who you were pretending to be, and they hope that this person don't turn out to be like that, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. whole time they feel like you're their true love. So messages from this person, they feel like you are their true love. And even if you were deceptive with them, with what you were showing them, it was for a good reason. 
because they weren't ready for who you really were. They feel like you was this. This person is fucked up in the head. They feel like you were deceptive towards them because they thought you were naive, stupid, and didn't love yourself. And the whole time you did and you was about your money. And that's exactly what they were looking for. This is the type of person to keep their options open. They're like, okay, if you let me play you, I'm gonna let you play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play you until I find me somebody that actually love themselves and care about themselves and they about what I'm about. Whole time. <sighs> How you, first of all, when you date anybody, they're gonna go out their way to try to please you. That don't mean they stupid. Like anybody would do that. Um, but I think this person confused somebody, confused with somebody being stuck up, arrogant, all about themselves with that being the person that loves themselves. So they may have chose somebody who's stuck up and arrogant and all about themselves and turned out that person is actually toxic and they don't give a fuck about them and they're stuck to them while in the meantime, you are somewhere loving yourself while still knowing how to be a loving energy to others. And it's like the message that they have for you is that they apologize. They feel like they are open to waiting on you if you're open to waiting on them to get out of whatever situation that they're stuck in and they love you just as much as you love yourself they think you're beautiful they think you're perfect for them and they want to work together with you they want to collaborate with you okay um and then you have this person in your workplace that they need to let go of you <laughs> they need to let go of the idea of you the idea of competing with you because if, it, if they don't, it's just going to keep causing them even more blockages. So, that was the Ohana's messages. And we are done for the day. Okay? Join our OnlyFans if you guys would like. I'll be doing a cash app live later. And check out the Ohana message I'll be posting to the videos tab. And that's it.